So in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly how to use ChatGPT for writing articles and for blogging. And we're actually going to be going over five specific ChatGPT prompts that help you to do just that. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to share with you exactly how you can get all these prompts that we go over in this video completely for free so you don't have to type them all out yourself. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first one is identifying blog topics, all right? This is one of the biggest things holding people back is what do I create content about? What do I write about? Okay, this prompt helps solve that. So the prompt is this, suggest five compelling blog topics related to insert your niche or your industry that would interest and provide value to insert your audience, okay? So you need to know those things first, right? You need to know your, your industry and you need to know your audience, who they are. Okay, so the example is this, suggest five compelling blog topics related to digital marketing that would interest and provide value to small business owners, okay? Now, like always, you could change the number of, uh, of topics. You could I put five just for the example. You could put 10, you could put 20, totally up to you. All right, so here is, uh, here's one. Unlocking the power of social media and advertising, search engine optimization, and tips and tricks for small businesses, the art of content marketing, uh, email marketing, and mastering maximizing your online advertising budget. Okay, perfect, right to the point, you just gotta put in what you actually wanna create content about. All right, number two is creating the blog outline. This has to all be, uh, it has to flow in a manner that reads well, it can't be all over the place, and the outline actually helps you to create it in a way that's very readable and gets gets people to stay on your page for a long time, okay, because that matters. All right, so the prompt is this. Create a detailed outline for a blog post on, insert your blog blog topic, that covers key points and subtopics. Okay, the subtopics make it really detailed, make it much more likely to rank in search engines because of the detail involved in it. All right, so the example is this. Create a detailed outline for a blog post on emerging social media platforms for businesses that cover key points and subtopics, okay? So we want the outline based on that. And this is gonna be pretty long, I gotta be honest. It's not gonna be a short blog post at all. All right, so the title is this, Emerging Social Media Platforms for Businesses, Harnessing the Power of the Next Wave. Okay, then it, go, it goes on for the introduction, understanding the significance of emerging social media platforms, key emerging social media platforms for a bit, uh, businesses, excuse me, uh, platform two, platform three, uh, evaluating the fit, choosing the right emerging platforms for your business, strategies for success, challenges and risks adopt, adopting emerging social media platforms, and then conclusion, okay? So you can do that with any of these topics that you come up with, is creating that outline, and then you go and expand on those different uh, topics and subtopics, okay? Number three is creating a captivating blog title. This can be the difference between a good click-through rate or a bad click-through rate, whether or not people want to read your, your blog, your article, or whether they don't. So it has to be good, okay? So the prompt is this, create a catchy and SEO-friendly title for a blog post about into your blog post. So the example we're gonna be using is a blog post about utilizing AI in email marketing. Let's create a title around that. So here it is, Mastering the Future, Unleashing the Power of, of AI in Email Marketing. Really good. Now, I wanna just let you know, if you don't like that, if you don't think it's gonna work for you, tell ChatGPT simply, write five more, okay? And you could choose whichever one you want, whichever you think is gonna work best with your blog itself, okay? And number four is writing meta descriptions. So meta descriptions are really important because it's like a snippet of what people are going to see within once they click and once they go to your website, once they go to your blog. It's a snippet, it gives them a preview of it. So it has to be good. It also has to be SEO optimized to be able to uh, add to the, uh, the, the likelihood of you ranking. All right, so the prompt is this. Write an SEO optimized meta description for a blog post on into your blog topic. So the example we're going to be using is increasing website traffic through Instagram. So we want a meta description, a short meta description that we can put in that Google sees it and shows to the people actually searching for it, for those keywords. All right, so here it is. Learn powerful strategies to drive more traffic to your website using Instagram. Discover effective techniques, tips, and tools to optimize your Instagram presence 
and attract a wider audience. Boost your website traffic and grow your online business with these proven Instagram tactics. Perfect. All right. Also, with a good meta description, you're going to also increase your click through rate. All right. Number five and the last one is developing calls to action, CTAs. So this is really important because what is the point of having a blog? It's not just, you know, writing to write. Most people write to make money from their blog. So you need to give call to actions. You need to guide people. You know, you need to hold their hand and show them what is the next step that people need to take after consuming your content. Okay. So the prompt is this, create a compelling CTA for a blog post on, insert your blog topic that encourages readers to take a specific action. So the specific action uh, we want is we want someone to sign up for a branding webinar in this example. And we have a blog post about the importance of branding in the digital age. So you see that it coincides, it works together, right? The article works with the call to action, which gets people to sign up for a branding webinar. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT spits out. Okay, ready to ready to elevate your brand in the digital age? Join our exclusive branding webinar and unlock the secrets to building a powerful and memorable brand. Don't miss out on this opportunity to learn from industry experts and take your business to new heights. Sign up now and start crafting a brand that leaves a lasting impression. Perfect, easy, right to the point. Real quick before we end, is I want to show you that this typically should be at the end of your article, okay? You could also have call to actions in the middle of your articles, but I would maybe suggest that they're a little shorter. So you can tell ChatGPT, write this more brief, and then you can put call to action CTAs throughout uh, your actual article, all right? Elevate your brand in the digital age, sign up for an exclusive branding webinar, or you can even have it as a pop-up on your blog, right? Someone's reading and they're halfway through, you have a pop-up, hey, sign up for our uh, branding webinar, okay? Use this call to action, use this prompt to help do that, all right? So like I said in the beginning, if you want all of these prompts, I will leave all of these in the, in the description below for you to start using today. You don't have to type them all out uh, and you can get, the outputs that you actually desire from them, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you're gonna like the videos at the top, so make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.